Pittsburgh Pirates will always be access to talent. Uh, and so whether that's the uh, amateur draft, whether it would be an international draft, which I think would be very good for the Pittsburgh Pirates, finding a way to level that playing field, uh, not only when it comes to overall competitive balance, but particularly when it comes to access to talent. Uh, you know, we, uh, we were very aggressive when we had an opportunity to be aggressive in the amateur draft. When that door closed, we found other opportunities to be very aggressive, bringing talent into the organization at every level. And the international component will continue to be a huge part of that uh, because there is so much talent spread throughout uh, uh, not only uh, uh, Central America, not only the Caribbean, not only the Dominican, but as we're seeing uh, uh, Korea, Japan, and uh, certainly Cuba is going to be a, a game changer. Do you believe? Uh, we want to make sure that the game stays engaging and fun and relevant uh, for everyone watching that. Part of that will be improvements in broadcast itself to make sure we have uh, more information, more engagement uh, throughout the broadcast. Part of it will be pace of game, but that will be a multifaceted approach. And uh, Tony Petiti, who will be leading that at uh, the commissioner's office, uh, he and I have had a number of discussions about you know, the kinds of opportunities we have uh, as a game, but also as a, uh, a TV presentation uh, to really make improvements over the next several, several years. I think we have a great guy on that case. So it's not, it's not just speeding up the game. It's, it's how can you change the way that the dead time is portrayed on TV, whether it's replay or more information or something. Like exactly. I think you have all of those pieces, whether it's additional uh, information, uh, statistics during the uh, uh, during the broadcast itself, seeing some of the sprays of where uh, uh, individual players and hitters have, uh, uh, have put balls, seeing how that lines up against our pitchers. There's a lot of information that we have looked at internally uh, that frankly can make a, a very, very interesting presentation uh, uh, as we roll it out to the fans. So you see well, what's been the reaction among ownership and how open-minded uh, Ross has been about some issues? Is it considering the possibility of discussing shortening the season? Yeah, I think that uh, uh, one of the great opportunities Rob has uh, is to bring the perspective of someone with 22 years of history in the game. He understands where we are, he understands and respects the history, but really has uh, made a commitment to take a fresh look in every opportunity he can. Uh, and it's, it's difficult to be an agent of change from inside. Uh, I think that's part of the role that the Executive Council is going to play to make sure that we're challenging assumptions, to make sure we're looking at fresh opportunities. I think what it really is a... That looks like a room where you go to work, doesn't it? <laughs>